ちは。We'll be begin to start、um, 15 minutes writing out chair yoga class. こんにちは。Thank you for joining today. So, thank you. Hello. お元気ですかこんにちは。Thank you for joining. Okay, so we're gonna study in a minute for the Biting Gacha Yoga, yoga class for 15 minutes. So, whenever you're ready,、um, please have a seat on the chair. Okay, so I'm going to chair also. How are you? お元気ですか So, it's, today's tema will be in sebone. Sebone meaning is a spine. And a se means senaka. We did it last time with the whole back is a senaka. Is a se means the whole back of the body. And bone is hone, coming from the hone, is a spine. So, we are、uh, focusing on sebone today, the spine. The, the hone in the middle of the、uh, senaka. Okay, so sebone, we'll、uh, focus in for that. And the sebone is、um, a lot of things involved, like nervous system,、um, a lot of things. The central nervous system is in the, in the spine. So today is focusing the sebone as、um, control the balance. On the nervous system. Okay, so、uh, whenever you're ready, please have a seat. If you don't have a chair, <coughs> sorry, you can sit on the floor. It's okay too. Okay, I'll be on the side so you can see more clearly. Okay, and sit on the chair. <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> Your box is on the front of the chair, see? So you're not sitting completely in the back to lie down the chair. You're sitting in the more the front edge of the chair, see? Your feet is a 90 degree angle, okay? And then you're going to sit straight up, okay? The sebone, the spine, will be lift upward all the way to the crown of the head. So the crown of the head, sebone, spine, and then your back. Is one level okay? So, one level is not like this, it's not like this, it's one one okay. And then from there, you're gonna put your hands on your knees, okay? We're gonna do cat cow breath, is cat is neko and the cow is ushi, is a two animal, and then、uh, uh, we're using the sebone for the breathing work, okay? So The first E will be in a cow pose. Okay, so you're gonna arch your knee up a b a c k and then lift your chest up and then look up towards the s i n Okay, so the right now is an arch in the back. Okay, this is your cow. And then the next is cat pose. So bring the sebone, spines around it. Like when the cat is mad, you s The, the cat spine around it, like same way. Okay, so the seven is around it, and the chin down, look toward the heart. Okay, and then again, cow pose, so keep holding your knees with the hands. You're gonna la-、uh, move the back spine into the front of the body, arch in the back, and then look up to the ceiling. And then with the exhalation, Move your sebone, spines around as a cat, and chin down, release the head down. Let's do three more times. Inhale, sute, cow pose, and lift your chest up, upper back in, spines, sebone in, concave, lift the chest, look up. And then with the exhalation, the cat, round your sebone, spine, round it, <clears throat> and chin down, relax your head down. Okay, two more times. Inhale, extend the chest up to the ceiling, look up, okay, sebone in, 
And then exhale, the cat, seven and round. Good, spread the shoulder blades away. And then one more time, inhale, two. Spine, the seven and moves in, lift your chest and look up. And then exhale, move the spines, sebone, lounge, and look towards your chest. Good. And then bring it back to the center. And now is center. Okay, so you're not arch, you're not back, finding a center between your cat and between the cat. Okay, so now the spine, the sebone, is a straight. Now go ahead, extend your arms up to the ceiling, reach up with a breath, inhale, and then exhale, extend your arms side, and then down. Okay, inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, extend your arms side, and then down. One more time, inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, extend your side, arms down by your side. Okay, now this time extend your arms up again one more time. And then this is the center, right? so you can see. And this time hold your, uh, your right elbow and lift the right side of the body up. And then exhale, you're going to move your torso to the left. Okay, when the torso to the left, don't bring your right shoulder forward. Keep your right shoulders back, okay? And then turn your chest left to right, and then stretch the right side of the body up. All right, and then bring it back to the center. Let go your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up again. This time, hold your left wrist. Lift upward, upward. And then now bring your left side of the body to the right. Okay, bring your left shoulders back, right chest forward so that your torso doesn't lean forward. Turn it outward, okay, and extend. All right, and then bring it back to the center and then release your hands down. Okay, inhale, reach your arms up. And this time, extend your arms back and then down. One more time. Inhale, reach your arms up and move your hands back and then down. Okay. Now, extend your arms side. This time, cross your right elbow on top of the left elbow. Okay. And then bend your knee. Actually, you're going to hug your shoulder uh, break. Okay, so holding the back of the shoulder blade, okay, hugging it. Okay, so the shoulder blades will be spread away from the spine. Okay, so the, the wing is a spreading away from each other, away from the sebone. Okay, so to make a space between the sebone and then your shoulder blade. Okay, and then let go of the arms. Other side, extend your arms to the side. This time your left elbow is on the top of the right elbow. And then again, hug. And then hold the outer shoulder blade. Okay, so the shoulder blades separate away from each other. Okay, and then if some people might be stuck. You know, if the shoulder blades is stuck in together, it doesn't move right to left. For today, but if you do every day, slowly, slowly, you know, gradually taking off from the stuckness. Okay, and then slowly release your head and then let go of your arms. Once again, inhale, reach your arms up and then exhale, open your arm and then make a space in the shoulder, in the chest, in the back, in the spine. Simple Inhale, reach your arms up, and then exhale, release your hands down. Okay, now I'm just gonna move to the side again. And this time, you're gonna put your left elbow outside your right knee, and then right hands, palms together to your left hand. Let's actually feet together. 
Okay, you got it? And then bring it back to the center. Switch to the other side. This time your right elbow outside your left knee. Left the hands on the top of the palm. Like this, and face in the front. Okay. And then release back to the center. One more time. Okay, left the elbow outside your knees. Okay, this time you really bring the left, like we did this, this pose, you really separate the shoulder right to the elbow, right? So the same way when you do this, rather than come up like this, I want you to really release the shoulder bay away from the sebone spine and then hook that elbow down. So see if you can go a little lower and lower. Okay, so if you see me from here, go downward to hook the elbows outside your knees, as much as you can. Okay, and again, it depends if the shoulder blades are stuck. It might not move, but um, patient. And then join your palms together. And as I join your palms together, lift the chest and then turn your chest to the ceiling. And breathe. And then bring it back to the center. Okay, just gonna move to the other side. All right, okay, other side. This time, your right elbow hook. When the right elbow hook is not just the elbow trying to touch, you're going to release your right shoulder blade. When you do the hug, same way, your shoulder blade to the elbow, okay, away from the spine. So you make a space in the back, much as you can, okay? And then after that, you join the palms together. Okay, knees together, feet together, hips are level. Okay, don't swing your right hips forward. Okay, keep your hips level, and then you want to turn. Yeah, take off the back stiffness in this twisting pose, the twisting spine, twisting sebone. It really give you our relief in the uh, stiffness in the back. Okay, and then bring it back to the center. Whew, breathe. Okay. Now extend your arms up again. Lift your spine, sebone straight up, 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 up. Open and then exhale, extend your arms side and then down again. Okay, this time uh, make sure you sit uh, on the front of the chair. See, open the feet wider. Okay, and then you're gonna lean forward this time you can catch the ankle, bend the elbow to the side, release your head completely down. Okay, the buttocks is on the chair. Okay, lengthen the side of the body. Maybe you can lift, lift the chest forward a little bit. Inhale. And then lengthen the side of the body, moving forward, forward, forward. And then once again, exhale, bend your elbow, and then release your head down. So make a space. Relax your head, relax your neck. Breathe, sit down, and hide down. your floor and put your hands on your thighs and then come up join your feet together roll your shoulders back and down join your palms together front of your heart and close your eyes for a moment and before practice and after practice and you see the difference your body, your mind. And then inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, turn down, bow with your heart. 
And then lift your chin, open your eyes. ありがとうございました。Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining. ありがとうございました。Okay, today's a focus into the spine, the seven net. Okay, so balancing out on、um, everything, emotional level, the physical level. So I hope feels good. At least I get energize it. Okay, so thank you so much. I hope see you again in the three weeks, and、um, hope. Have a great day. ありがとうございました Thank you so much.